guys, so today I'm just doing a little like get unready with me. You'll have to excuse my eyes I like having a full-blown breakdown because the lights are really hurting them and I'm a bit tired. But I wanted to show you guys all the goodies I use to like get unready when I'm finished doing my makeup, when I'm over it and I want to wash it off my face. So that is what I'm going to do. So first of all, I just like to get my hair out of my face and I just went to the Priceline um, showcase literally this week. And when I was there, I got this cool little face halo headband so it just keeps your hair out of your face which is amazing and I also got the new face halo pro so if you guys haven't heard of what that is it's a new version of the original face halo and it's a black one so I have please excuse them because they're dirty because I genuinely use them and I haven't washed them yet but these are the original face halos so I got these in the last goodie bag from the Priceline showcase actually and I only cracked them open like one or two months ago and oh, I am obsessed with them. I need to wash them. As you guys can see, they're filthy. And then the other goodie I got as well is a new little wash bag for them. So I'm just going to pop these straight in here because they're going to go in the laundry after I film this video. So lucky I got some new ones because now I can actually wash my face. So this is what the face halo comes in. This is a really good product. It essentially like eliminates makeup wipes pretty much. So I'm excited to have the black ones too because you won't be able to see like all the makeup stains on them after you've used them. So that is what the Face Halo Pro looks like. It is just a black one. So good. So I'm just going to take my jewellery off so I don't get all my makeup stuck in my diamonds because we don't want that. This makeup look is so pretty so I'm kind of sad to be removing it but I've got nowhere to go and nowhere to be so time to take it all off. So I'm just going to take my lashes off and put them back in my lash box so I don't lose them like so. And now I'm just going to go quickly wet my face halo. I'll be right back. You just start rubbing your face with it. And it just takes off the main bulk of your makeup. So when you go in with cleanser, you've already removed majority of it. So your cleanser can actually just focus on purifying your pores and cleaning your face properly. So on eye makeup, I just like to hold it down on my eye for a little bit longer. So now I do find that sometimes I still have like eye makeup left over because it can be a little bit tricky to get all your eye makeup off with it, especially like if your eye makeup stains your skin. So in that circumstance, I just take some micellar water. I'm just trying to find my cotton round. So just some micellar water and I'll just take a cotton round and I will remove the remainder of my eye makeup with that. So as you guys can see, majority of that makeup has been removed on the right side of my face now with the combination of a face halo and then just one cotton round for my eyes. So now I'm going to remove the remainder of my makeup. Now I'm going to go in with my Tribe Cleanser. Now I've been using Tribe since about May religiously and I'm nearly out of this bottle and I actually have a discount code with them now. So if you guys would like to try Tribe, you can use the code down below. And the most awesome bit about this cleanser is it can actually remove your makeup as well. So if you do have any makeup residue left over, it will definitely help to remove it. And I like to double cleanse, so I'll go in and cleanse once and rub it all over my face and then I'll wash it and cleanse a second time. So I'm just going to go rinse this off with warm water and cleanse one more time and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that part is all done. Take the headband off. So then just sort of depending what else I've got going on that night, sometimes I like to do a face mask before I moisturize. And a gadget I recently discovered is a Foreo, which is, it's like, I don't even know what to describe it as. It's like a little round thingamabob and it heats up, it vibrates, it has LED light therapy built into it. It's so cool. I wonder if it'll focus on it. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So it's a really nifty little device. They have other um, devices that are like designed to help your skin soak in and like, use cleansers better and stuff but this one is in particular for face masks so you buy these little individual masks and they come in packs as well and they target different things so these are the nighttime ones so this is a call it a night um, ginseng and olive oil face mask so when you open it up it's like a little round disc that you then clip onto here and then you pop this little ring over the top and then you turn it on and it connects to an app through your phone and then you just like massage the product into your skin so that's what I'm gonna do now that's what it looks like So 
new lip that I just put over the round bit there like that. So it's like a little, feels like a sheet mask. Ooh. You just need to pop the little ring bit around it. Then you just press it down and as you can see the little sheet mask is like locked and loaded in there. And then you click onto the Foreo app. So once you're in the app, you can actually select, um, I should be screen recording this, what am I doing? So once you're actually in the app, you can select what face mask you want to use. So I'm using the nighttime one. So as soon as I hit start, I have to then do my barcode, whoops. What about that? So you just like scan the little barcode on your face mask. Come on, you got it. There we go, got him. And then as soon as I hit start treatment on the app. Done that. So start treatment. So it'll... Use a circular motion as you gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. What it says. Take a few slow, deep breaths and allow yourself to relax as this heated facial massage melts away any stress while deeply nourishing your skin. It's currently lighting up with LED lights and it's getting warmer at the moment. It's so relaxing. And I love having the relaxing music from the app. drift into a state of total relaxation, red LED lights revitalize your skin, leaving it softer, smoother, and more supple. Sonic pulsations blend with red LED light to boost blood circulation and restore skin elasticity for a more luminous appearance. Oh, this makes me want to go to sleep. seconds to relax and enjoy and prepare to feel refreshed. Now if you guys are extra like me, you might want to do it a second time. So I personally like to use all the excess liquid in Your the actual mask treatment is now complete. If you'd like, you can repeat the treatment. Otherwise, dispose of the UFO activated mask and rinse your device under running water. So I like to go in a second time and I like to actually push out any of the extra serum that's sitting in the packet and I just pop it on the pad because there is like a lot of serum in these packets and I want to use it all up. Make me young and beautiful please for you. Secure the UFO activated mask to your device by clipping the attachment ring into place with the 4 logo facing up. So this was all of the excess serum that was in the little packet. So I'm going for round two. Use a circular motion as you gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. Take a few slow, deep breaths and allow yourself to relax as this heated facial massage melts away any stress while deeply nourishing your skin. Ah, oh, and it's done. Your smart mask treatment is now complete. If you So, now the treatment is all complete. All you have to do is pop off that little plastic ring. You just simply dispose of the little sheet mask and then you just rinse it with warm water and that's it. So I'm just going to quickly do that while I allow these serums to sink into my face as well because there's a lot of serum on my face right now. Oh my god, it feels so good. 
I love me some serums. So after I've cleaned it, it actually comes with a little stand. So I just have this sitting on my bathroom vanity and I just leave my Foreo like that, just waiting for me to use whenever I feel like giving myself a bit of a pamper sesh. So rule of thumb for me personally is with face masks, I use a lot of different types, but I typically use like hydrating and anti-aging ones of a night time. And if I feel like my face needs to be exfoliated, I do that usually in the morning time before I apply makeup because it's really nice to have a freshly exfoliated face right before you put on makeup. And then I find if I'm going to be using like such beautiful masks that have heaps of active ingredients like these particular ones, I want to use it at night time. So when I go to bed, it can just soak into my skin overnight and I can wake up and just my skin will feel like super plump and really hydrated. Now after all those serums have sunk into my skin, I do go in and moisturize as well and I use my Tribe Hydrate Me Moisturizer. This is a really nice moisturizer. Tribe products are really good for sensitive skin types, anyone who gets like really flared up red skin. And if you're looking for something natural, like this is the absolute best brand. Um, they're my favorite skincare, hands down. I, I just love them. And then I just like to add a little bit of eye cream. This is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. I usually prefer to use this during the day because it's brightening, but my other eye cream just ran out recently, so I'm gonna use this just to give them a little moisturization. So there you have it guys, that is my current nighttime skincare routine slash how I remove my makeup. I've been using these products religiously now for a few months and they're my absolute favorite. I do try a lot of new products often, so like I'm always switching up um, cleansers, moisturizers, face masks and everything because I have so much to try just like I do makeup. But these are my number one picks out of everything I've tried recently. So if you guys haven't checked out any of these brands, I highly recommend them. And I think that's all, I think I've covered everything. So so like I said, if you have any questions, just feel free to comment them below. Like the video if you find it helpful or found it helpful or enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll be talking to you all really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.